Thank you. Uh, so the introduction is Esther Lush Tangman. Yeah. And it's important. It's not possible to change it. Uh, the first presentation, as you know, by the program, is about um, uh, the title and uh, the subject of our session, Gender and Other Barriers, Archaeological Perspectives. In our opinion, the main, the main aim of gender studies are to enlarge and conciliate ecology with the great problems of the contemporary world, strengthening the social commitment and political relevance of our discipline to the debate and revolutionary change of the current global capitalism. The focus on gender subject must also stimulate insights in the interaction of gender with other types of social barriers mainly age, race, class, ethnicity, fraction, and sexuality. Gender frontier are standing operative mechanisms for the global capitalism, dividing humanity in two opposite and conflicting halves. Its deconstruction process must be contained in global and plural perspectives. Case studies and regional or worldwide visions from social integration of sex gender relations have crucial importance to understand current gender inequalities and intersexual violence that cross cut quite different social formations. In the year 2019, the dominant binary sex gender system in most parts of the world is still characterized by <coughs> heterosexism and androcentrism, sexual harassment and abuse. Some images that everybody has seen. <coughs> Since the late years of the decade of 1970, a significant number of archaeologists in inspired by the second wave feminist principles, have been participating in the debate of women discrimination, both in the scientific production system and in the past reconstructions based by sexist approaches. Gender ecology developed in the 1980s led to the incorporation of post-structuralist theories and formulated the fundamentals for producing archaeological knowledge, gender concept, methodologies, and epistemology. The aim was to make women visible, women visible in the archaeological record and to denounce the hegemonic androcentrism that had been framing gender studies in several sectors of social reproduction namely maintenance activities and in traditionally devalued domestic crafts, the women a role has been inquired and came to be considered essential for understanding the true historical dynamics. In the 1990s, 90s, um, 90s, there were some changes in the theoretical framework namely with the introduction of queer theories and transsexual feminism with the radical rejection of biological determinism and patriarchal society. For now, it makes sense to speak about transgender ecology. These new theoretical perspectives have become a widespread phenomenon that cross-cut several social sciences, such as anthropology and archaeology. The variations in women sex gender systems have been emphasized. Reinterpretations of ethnographic, ethnohistorical and archaeological data reveal the existence of societies where more than two gender identities very probably existed. 
The archaeological focus on the male-female barrier of social inequality, the uh, binary gender, illuminates the social commitment and political relevance of our discipline. The multi-temporality and pluralism of archaeological approaches can give valuable contributions to the following subjects. The construction of sexual versus gender relations in different times and places based on the empirical record. Engendering the past, new insights into theoretical issues, methodologies, and high-tech archaeological science tools. In short, current archaeology uses methodology and high-tech science tools to reinforce its active role on research about sex, gender, social identities, without forgetting the multi added by intersection with other barriers of exclusion, like age, race, and class. For reaching explanation, an extra effort to integrate these matters in the sociopolitical organization dynamics would be indispensable. By this path, it might be possible to find the real source of inequality, reading on the social relations of production behind the surface layers of ideologies. Thank you very much for, the, for your attention.